Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on C++ programming language. In this session, we'll be discussing about input output operations in C++ programming language. In this session, we will discuss what we mean by input output operations in C++. What are the different streams that are available to perform IO operations in C++? What are the stream classes? And also we will see the console formatted IO operations in C++. Friends, as you know that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel, Learn with Prakash Kanare, and subscribe to the channel to see many videos on the subjects of electronics and computer science. So let us start the session with the question, what we mean by IO in C++. In C++ programming language, there is a necessity that always we need to perform certain input and output operations. And whenever we need to perform any input or output operations, that is whenever we want to read some data from the input device, or whenever we want to write some data to the output device, then in order to perform these IO operations, in C++ there is a system and that system works through the stream. As shown in this diagram, the input device is connected to a logical device called as an input stream. And from the input stream, the data can be extracted by the program. Also, whenever the program wants to write some data, then this data is being sent to the stream called as an output stream. And from the output stream, the data can be connected to the output device. A stream, one can say, is a logical device that will either produce or it will consume the information or data. A stream is always connected to the physical device. Say, for example, the input stream is connected to the input device such as keyboard and the output stream is connected to the output device such as monitor screen. We know that whenever we write any small program in C++, then always we need to include this file iostream.h in our program. This file is a header file and it is included in our program because it consists of the routines and these routines will support the input and output operations in C++. So whenever any C++ program starts the execution, then one can find that the four streams are automatically opened. The first stream is being called as an input stream C in, which is a standard input stream where the default device is the keyboard. C out is the standard output stream for which the default device is the monitor screen. C error is a standard error output where the default device is again the screen. C log is the buffered version of the C error where the default device is the monitor screen. Now let us understand about the stream classes or where these input and output streams are defined in C++ compiler. C++ input output streams are defined in the stream classes. As shown in this diagram, IOS is the base class where I stands for input, O stands for output, and S stands for the stream. So IOS will refer to the input output stream. From this base class, we can have the input stream I stream, output stream O stream, and the stream buffer. IOS, as I said you, it is the base class which will contain the basic facilities that are used by all input and output classes in C++. The I stream or input stream is the input stream class that will declare the input functions such as gate, gate line and read. So these functions are defined in the input stream class. Also, one can easily observe that the object C in is an object of the stream input stream class, that is I stream class. Also, one can observe that the extraction operator, which we normally need to make use of with the C in object, is also overloaded in the input stream class. 
the output stream class is the output stream class that will declare the output function such as put and write. The objects such as C out, C error, and C log, these are the objects of the class or O stream class or output stream class. Output stream class will also contain the insertion operator, which we always need to make use of whenever we make the use of the object such as C out. And this is overloaded insertion operator that is contained within the output stream class. Now let us go for the certain formatted console input output operation. IOS class contains the number of functions that can be used to format the output. Many times while writing the C++ program, we make the use of unformatted input and output, but it is possible that you can make the use of formatted input and output. There are functions that can be used within C++ program in order to achieve the formatted output. Say for example, the function like width is used to set the required field width so that whenever we want to display the output with specific width, then this function can be used. There is another function called as the precision function. And this method is used to set the number of decimal point to the float value. So whenever we want to display any real value, then we can control how many decimal points are to be there in that value. And to control this, we need to make the use of the method called as the precision method. There is another method called as the fill method where it can be used to set a character to link uh, to fill the blank space of the field. So whenever there is a specific field width and if it is a blank, then we can fill it with certain character. There is another method called as the set F. This method is being used to set the various flags for the formatting output. There is another method called as the unset F where we can remove the flag setting by using this method. Say for example, whenever we write the object C out along with the width function, then it has to be written like this C out dot width in the bracket five. And whenever we display some value, say for example, five, four, three, then the width for the display of this data will be reserved for five positions. So the first two positions will be blank and then the number 503, 543 will be displayed. So five spaces will be reserved for the value 543 out of which the two spaces will be blank. Now, in order to make the use of the method called as the precision, we can write the syntax something of this form C out dot precision. And suppose in the bracket, we write three. So whenever we write a statement C out and then 3.141519, then the display will be 3.142. So the nearest possible value, the fractional value will be rounded and only the three digits will be printed after the decimal point because we have set the precision value equal to three. Now, whenever we want to fill the blank space by using certain character, then we can make the use of this function fill. So it is to be used with C out like this C out dot fill. And you can here write down the character that is to be used. Now this function will fill all the white spaces with this character asterisk or star. Now, whenever we want to print the left justified numbers or whenever we want to print the floating point number in the scientific notation, then in that case, you can make the use of the method called as the set F. And the format that is being used with the set F method is C out dot set F. And in the bracket, you can write the two arguments, argument one, comma, argument two. Say, for example, when I write a statement, c out dot set f, iOS left, 
comma iOS adjust file. And when I write C out dot width is equal to 15. And when I print the word hello on the screen, then you will find that the output will be displayed something like this. So it will be a left justified output where the word hello will be printed and the rest of the positions will be kept vacant because the width reserved is of 15 positions. There are different flags and bit fields that can be used with the setx function. So whenever you want a left justified output, then the flag or the argument one should be iOS left and the bit field can be iOS adjust field. Whenever you want it right justified, then the flag can be iOS right. Whenever you want padding after the sign or base indicator, then you can write the flag as iOS internal. If you want to print the value in scientific notation, then you can make the flag or argument one as iOS scientific. Whenever you want to have a fixed point notation, then you can write the flag or argument one as iOS fixed. For decimal base, you can make the use of iOS DAC. For octal base, you can make the use of iOS OCT. And for the hexadecimal base, you can make the use of iOS hex. Now let us see a simple C++ program where we have made the use of the formatted output. Now we need to include this IO stream file and also we have included mat.h file because here we have made the use of some math mathematical function called as the square root. And these are included by using the namespace standard. Now this is our main function of the type integer where we are making the use of the statement C out fill with a steri. Then we have making the use of the method set f where we want left justified with the adjust field as the second parameter. The width is being set to 10. Now, whenever we print some message, say value, then we set F to iOS right, that is the right justified, and we fix the value width equal to 15. And then we print the message SQRT or square root. Then we fill it with some special character such as dot and then we will make the precision four that is only four decimal values will be printed and then again we will make the use of set f as per the requirement where we make the use of the show point or show position and then we will make the use of the loop where we will be displaying the values of i equal to 1 to 10 and every time will be displaying the square root of the value. So whenever we execute such program, then you will find that the values that are displayed on the screen after execution will be like this. So initially we will have a message value and then the square root. Then uh, we are showing the values of i with plus sign plus 1 and its square root plus two and its square root 1.4142. In this way, the square root of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So one can easily observe that the output is being displayed in the specific format as it is being described to us by us in our program. So thank you friends for viewing the session. Hopefully you have understood what we mean by console IO operations in C++ and how it is possible to achieve the formatted output in C++. Thank you all for viewing the session.